All right, so we're looking for the entire bar to cross over the EMA9. All right, there we go. So we would expect to see a long signal, which would exit a short trade, right? So, yeah, for example, if, you know, if this, if there was a, you know, a short trade here, there we go, we'd have an exit for that. If there was a long trade, then there you go. It's, can't quite tell. Well, actually, let's look here. Let's take a look. So we have the high at 14 even, and the EMA is just below <laughs> the high of that bar. Um, just below. All right. So that is not the exit bar. There we go. All right. So then we have you know, an exit right there. So let's go ahead and build that here real quick. All right. So on the default time frame here, and there is our crossover like so. All right. So input A is going to be the higher low prices of the bar. So let's set that to price. And then input B, that's going to be our EMA. So I'm actually going to plug in the EMA first. So for some, doesn't really matter, but uh, just, so there you go. There's our EMA set up in input B. And so input A needs to be the higher low prices. So yeah, so to generate a a long to signal which exits a short trade. We want to make sure that the low price, right, is above the EMA9. And there we have it, right? So there's our signal. And then set the short, right, the short input to the high. And there you go, there's our short signal there. And yeah, of course, you know, not surprisingly, right, these low prices do cross that EMA, just like, right, we got the high prices are crossing that EMA. So we're, we're getting, you know, two exit signals, but that doesn't matter. Um, you know, because again, if you're in a long trade, a long exit signal does nothing to a long trade, right? So this second exit signal here, right? It can only exit a short trade. So it, it's not an entry signal. So it's not gonna enter a long trade. It's only going to exit a short trade, right? So having extra exit signals doesn't matter unless of course for some reason you were in a short trade you know if yeah if for some reason you know you did get into a short trade right there and you didn't want that exit signal well that you know that's a whole different issue right so yeah <clears throat> um all right so you know that this exit signal you know i have the definition down there you know and so we're looking for a condition you know as it happens right so that's that's a what definable condition right and remember we're, we're identifying this crossover when the bar closes so right so this bar had closed and then we know that the low you know crossed above the EMA